Okay, so I've just been sent this from CarPureide and it's a way to add Android Auto or Apple CarPlay to an older car stereo. So let's have a look at what comes in the box. So we've got a manual with loads of details in there. Uh, we've got a couple of sort of double-sided stickers it looks like and loads of different ways of fixing this to the car. So uh, this is a suction mount, I guess, for the windscreen, and it looks like it's articulated so we can move it around to various different angles and even change the end here. Uh, I've got a three and a half mil connection cable. If you have uh, an old analog jack connection on your car, excuse my hands, I've been painting, uh, but it also works with Bluetooth as well, so don't worry if you haven't got that connection. This looks like an alternate mount for uh, the suction adapter. So as this is a car video, I thought I'd take a drive to somewhere a bit nicer. So my office for the day is a 2009 Vauxhall Astra. But my view is far from ordinary today. So you can see on the side of the display we've got a home button, volume up, volume down, uh, a voice activation button, so for Siri or Google Assistant, and also a back button. Power button on the top, and on the side we've got a 12 volt input, USB-A, we've got AV out, camera input, SD card and also microphone input as well. So every car is going to be different so I'm not going to concentrate on how you attach it. Uh, I've just used an adhesive pad to stick it to the dashboard for now. The cigarette lighter cable is very long, at least a metre and a half. So let's plug it in and we're starting up. Quick start up. And I've got this message on my phone, allow CarPlay with CarPureRide while phone is locked. I'm going to say allow. I've got enable wireless and use USB only. I'm going to enable wireless. And you can see already that it's showing up on here. So I've got messages, I've got music. Oh, absolute Radio 80s. So it's picking up on the radio station that was last playing. So let's stop that. But that's cool that that's picked up straight away. See what the maps looks like. Feels responsive. So you can see where I am, look. Oh, and it's, uh, I did navigate to a hotel near here um, just to see if there was any traffic delays. There you go, see Saunton Sands Hotel. See, I've got all my information about 4G and uh, the time and everything. What's this one here? Okay, so we've got Car Home, which takes us back to what, uh, oh, to this menu. And that's all of the menu. If I go back into iPlay, it goes straight back into it. Uh, so audiobooks, which I don't really use. Uh, phone, music, these are all Apple standard apps. The only one that's not Apple is Amazon Music, uh, which, yeah, we've got things like Explore. So if we pick a genre, top playlist, yeah, you can see all that comes up. I won't play it because I don't want any copyright strikes. And this is the now playing option on there as well. So if we go back on that, and I don't know what it will show for library. I guess I've got some songs that I put in playlists. Yeah, so that's some songs that I've added to an Amazon playlist. Uh, or music that I bought from Amazon. Uh, so BBC Sounds, which gives me uh, podcasts. Cloud Beats, which is cloud music. Uh, you can back up all your music in that. It's a really cool app. That's a third party app, not an Apple one. Oh, Google Maps is on there. Well, that's good to see. I wasn't sure if Google Maps would be on there. Uh, here we go, recent searches, save places. Oh, and there's a voice bit there as well. Navigate to McDonald's. Oh, to be fair, that was pretty good. And it has picked the closest one. Yeah, that's fine. So let's go back to that. Uh, LBC, which is a radio station, there's Overcast there. Uh, oh, and this seems to be the most recent ones because Overcast was on the side here before. Uh, plug share, which is car charging, not for this car, for my other car. Uh, Ringo, which is for paying for parking. I wonder how that's going to work. So this should find locations near me. Yeah, it does look. Salton Sands Hotel Car Park. Oh, it's, it's very usable. And it. I thought it was going to be laggy um, because of the sort of price of it and everything. I didn't expect it to be quite so snappy as it is. It feels perfectly naturally used. It feels like it's running natively on the machine rather than coming through a phone. Uh, so if I go back, tune in radio, 
uh, WhatsApp's on there as well, ZapMap, more electric car charging, uh, Zoom, uh, which will be interesting while you're driving, and YouTube Music as well. Yeah, very cool. So let's go back. That takes you back to this menu, which gives you uh, the maps and the sat nav that you're currently on. And also you could start playing a track. But well, let's go back and let's see if we can connect it to my stereo. Now I do have a three and a half mil cable, which I can plug into the side here. If it's long enough, I think it is. So I plugged it into the AV out socket. So this one here, that's my phone plugged in. And this and this other one is power. So on my stereo, I'm gonna put that to, I'm gonna switch it on and put it to auxiliary. And hopefully when I start playing something, uh, well, let's go for a bit of radio first of all. Let's just go for a bit of speech with LBC. So LBC, let's just go with news. So I've got no sound at the moment. Could it and not that's be a, an overwhelming time for change feeling? There you go. The so let's try getting the audio through my radio. So if I unplug the three and a half mil jack, so it will default back to the ordinary speaker on the car pure ride at the moment. But uh, if I go to home and go to the main menu, uh, so FM transmitter. Uh, so this would be a frequency that it would broadcast on. So if we go for say 106, which I think is nowhere near any stations around here. So if I manually search, for 106, and let's store that in as a preset. I'll put it as number eight. And let's go back into FM transmitter, hit the play button, and yeah, that's coming through my stereo. Again, I have to stop it. So I've now connected my phone wirelessly. So if I put it on the dash here, it's connected via Bluetooth. Uh, so if I was to call up a feature, say for instance, tune in radio, and just pick something from there, so LBC, just so that I don't have any, there you go, and that's coming through my stereo. So this is all wireless now, so Bluetooth connected to the car pure ride, and the car pure ride connected to my stereo via FM. Very impressive. Uh, I don't have Bluetooth on this stereo, as you can see, it's very old, but it works great with this system, and it really gives it a whole new lease of life. So I'm going to use it wireless, I'm going to drive home with it uh, as is and let's see what the functionality is like while I'm actually driving but yeah so far I'm really really impressed with this. There's all sorts of extra things it can do as well. In fact I wanted to try plugging in a USB stick. So I've got an SD card which I can pop in. Okay that's in and it's detected it straight away because the pictures, oh there you go, so it's playing mp3 already. And what happens if I press so if I pause that, what other functionality have we got on here? So you can see I can switch between tracks. Uh, I can also, I put some photos on here as well. There you go, a little Windows XP screen. And I can skip to the next one, which is a Raspberry Pi case. Uh, and so if I go back and video, let's see if it plays MP4. Oh, it's illegal to view video while driving or operating a motor vehicle. Ah, video warning alert. So you can just turn that off. Uh, so have a go home now or go back to playing. SD card. And it's playing the video. That's cool. And if I try it in the USB slot, so if I eject the SD card, and it does, it does the same thing plugging in the USB. You can see it's playing the music. So that's gonna work exactly the same whether it's a USB stick or an SD card. I thought I'd mention how good the screen quality is. It is a really nice screen to look at. Now you might have noticed in some of the footage because I've had an iPad recording the screen down here, uh, it's getting some reflection, but actually from the driver's seat with it pointed towards me, even when the sun's been shining at various different points in this video, uh, the display has been absolutely fine to read. Uh, and this is wirelessly connected to this phone that's doing the recording. And you can see that functionality still works even though it's recording. So if I was going to Apple Maps, uh, you can see that all of that is showing up and you can see where we are. Um, so I think what I'll do is uh, show a little bit of dash cam footage because there's a nice bit of road uh, as it goes around the corner. So I've got to go this way and, uh, and turn around to go home. 
But uh, yeah, very, very impressed with this. Thanks to Car Pure Ride for sending this to me. Remember, this also works with Android phones as well. You also have uh, AirPlay functionality on this screen so you can mirror what's on your screen to this device. There's actually loads of things I haven't gone through, um, but uh, I am really impressed with it. It's even got a graphic equalizer. It takes me back to the, the 80s. Uh, with the old Technics uh, graphic equaliser. So let's say goodbye to the incredible view that I've had. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.